Antarctica is melting. There's no other way to put it. It's melting big time and it's melting a lot. And when we look at the ice on our planet, when we look at the melting that is occurring, it is startling the scientific community. We see a change here on this graphic from 1979 to now. The red area is showing where all the ice was located in 1979 and where it is now, and it's enough to make anyone who cares at all about what's happening with our Earth stand and pause and wonder. In 2002, I was watching television, and I remember watching a newscast, and they were talking about some kind of budget fight or something in there. The guy was saying, and, and uh, this budget fight will continue throughout the next three weeks, according to the congressman that we just interviewed. And then he says, uh, here's another story coming over the Associated Press. A chunk of ice just broke off of the South Pole, which is evidently the size of the state of Rhode Island, and it is now floating out to sea. And I went, what? What did, what did he just say? And my wife said, well, what's the matter? What's the matter? And I said, I think that newscaster just said that a chunk of ice just broke off the South Pole that's the size of the state of Rhode Island. I don't know whether it was a verbal misprint or what. And so then I started researching it really fast. I went to the internet and it was true. The Larson B ice shelf broke off uh, a huge chunk of ice. Here we see a Greenpeace photograph of that and it is now floating out to sea. Something called the Ross Ive Shelf is similar in size to Larson B, and it has broken off since then, too. So what we have is some serious situations happening. The ice caps are melting. The melting of the ice caps is believed to cause by global warming, and what we have is ocean levels that are increasing because of the ice that's melting. So what do we have? A tilted Earth, an Earth that's getting bigger at the equator, an Earth that is getting warmer, ice caps melting. In the Himalayas, it could really hurt the rivers and the lakes. The ice peaks melting in the Himalayas could have devastating effects. But a lot of people believe that global warming is the reason for the ice caps melting. And the global warming might be happening because of fossil fuels, but it also might be happening because of what's happening with the ecosystem on the Earth as a matter of course anyway. Evidence of warming since the 1950s, the Arctic sheet has become 40% thinner. Arctic temperatures are the warmest in 400 years. Since the 1960s, snow cover has declined by 10%. And in just seven years, for example, Pine Island Glacier, part of Antarctica, has thinned more than five feet. We look here, and this is a temperature chart. They are able to know the temperatures and the changes that have occurred since the 1880s when they've been measuring them carefully and we see warming, 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 warming continually.